Well, Bev, according to Ted Huy, it's because of compassionate and compelling grounds that uh, the Australian Australian government decided his case and that of his family, who are accompanying him in quarantine here in Australia, uh, that Australian officials regarded their case as sufficiently compelling to uh, grant him, not only grant him this exemption to the border entry quarantine, uh, coronavirus ban, but also to, uh, to provide assistance in getting on a flight to arrive in Australia. Mm. You've had a chance to talk to Ted. How is he and what has he said about deciding to come to Australia? Well, he's on day two in quarantine. Family is with him, so he seems to be quite well. He said that last year, late last year, he originally uh, fled Hong Kong over to the Netherlands and then on to the UK, which is where he was originally looking to apply for asylum. But he claims that uh, he decided it would be better to come to Australia because there were already plenty of Hong Kongers in the UK lobbying for the um, cause of the Hong Kong protest movement. I spoke to him a little bit earlier and very interesting what he said here, Bev. Have a listen uh, when he talks about the, um, the, the various uh, measures that Australian officials had to go through to help him get on one of those very scarce flights from London to Australia. So I had to uh, ask for the Australian government for assistance and they were so kind uh, for facilitating situations and they put me on the list and give me the eligibility so that I, can, I, I could actually get on a repatriation flight with other Australians going home. So it, it, was, a, it was very uh, kind of the Australian government and I'm grateful for everything given for me. Yeah, Bev, so it's worth remembering how many Australians, particularly in the UK, are desperate to get on those really scarce flights to get back here. Uh, in this particular case, it doesn't just seem that the Australian authorities granted uh, Ted Huey an exemption for the border ban, but also uh, facilitated and really helped him get on a do not bump list and onto a flight to get here. Indeed. It's surely going to have implications for the already tense relationship, though, between China and Australia, Bill. Yeah, you'd think so, although uh, Beijing's anger is a current and it's losing its impact. This week, the Chinese government, in uh, putting yet more restrictions on Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement, once again said that Hong Kong is an internal affair and no other country has any right to uh, talk about it. But in this particular case, we're not hearing anything from the Australian government. Rather, it seems uh, the government is doing something rather than saying something. No doubt Beijing won't be particularly happy, Bev, but at the moment, there are many things that the Chinese government is constantly unhappy about. Indeed. Bill Bertels, thanks for bringing us up to date with that developing story.